Hello and welcome, my name is Mentorius and welcome to a new episode of Deponia. We left off the last episode flooding Wenzel's basement and uh, I guess we are kind of done here. Because he's off to the mare, saving my princess and we need to stop him somehow, some way. But I'm not sure yet. So, let's see, we still need the clear water to make the coffee for the princess. And, uh, yeah, I guess there's not much to do. Let's take a look if Wenzel is in the mayor office right now. And walking is kind of slow here. So that's the only thing I have against this game. But the humor in this game is amazing. And the water keeps on flowing in to Wenzel's house. That's also kind of funny. So, we are inside. Let's see, Lobo, Mikey. The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter? Lotec thinks the girl should be um, integrated into our community. All right. Someone has to nurse her back to hell. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. You want her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. All Why? Right. What do you want the girl for? Rufus? Rufus! Huh? Oh, what? The girl belongs to me. That'll be determined by the mayor. Hmm. So... Nice hats. Did Let's try if we can get these the guys away. The switched to making hats, because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> I see. And I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey, my wife made them for me. Well, thanks for nothing. All right, let's, let's see if we can get these guys Where's away the somehow. She's lying in the assembly hall. Dr. Gizmo is with her. They say she's unconscious. I hope she isn't injured. So do I. So do I. It's not easy stacking exhaust pipes with broken arms. Oh my god, you guys are horrible. Skedaddle. Well, uh, what are we going to do? Let's go into the alley. Let's see what we can do. All right, let's have some fun with this detonation plan. I still got my magnets, did I not? Somewhere. Sponge, no, no. Dart, signs, red curtain, waiting number. I don't have my magnets anymore. Where did I use those? Oh, they're still on there. All right, let's see what we are going to do. This were the houses of those people. So that could be kind of fun, blowing them all up. All right. Guess this is going to be it. These are the houses that are meant to be blown up because these houses are Lobos. And let's go back. And uh, I guess we needed to ring the bell. And I guess those are the houses because they have the same hats if we checked them the last time. Right? Oh, the blast signal. Yes, let's have some fun. Take cover! Imminent blast! Alright! 
the house and didn't got destroyed, but we got the detonation expert achievement, and that's what we wanted. So, what's this? Stony shop. Oh, they're all blinging red. Let's get back. Let's see if they're still there. Alright, I guess they're gone, so... What's this, number 63? I would have earned the one, but I guess the 63 will have to do. And there's Wenzel. Ah, Rose, <laughs> I believe you may very well want to congratulate me. The mayor was very excited to hear about my discovery. He believes the water vein might make Kuvak one of the three richest settlements in the southern quadrant. Right now, he's hearing one more applicant, but for now, it looks like I'll be the one. Goal is supposed to live at your place? Oh, don't make me laugh. What? Now that I have a water vein on my property, I'm one of the most influential people of Kuvak. And with an orbit pixie in my house, I might even become an honorary citizen. Who knows? One day, I might even follow in the footsteps of your father. But I was the one who saved her. And I'm the one who gave her shelter. Rufus, you don't even have a house. So how do you suppose you'll convince the mayor? Hmm. Well, I... Uh, I'm, That's kind of problem. I'm, I'm, next up, number 63, please. All right. I guess I'm going in the mayor's office. Lotech, I have to talk to you. It's about... Where is he? Lotech? Uh, what? Who's disturbing me? Whoa. Are you really sleeping in your desk? This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Before me, your father used to sleep in here. That was before he betrayed the community. Huh. Well, I can totally understand that. Well, he left you behind, too. Be that as it may, who sleeps in a desk anyway? Admittedly, the desk isn't aligned correctly with the planet's magnetic field, but your father had a device installed to correct that. What? All right, that's kind of interesting. You, Lizian girl. They all are, but you're too late. The hearing is over. Over? But it was me who found her. As far as I know, it was Hannick who found her. Well, I found her first. And you just left her lying there? Uh, no, it was uh, different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. All right. That's too bad. How exceptionally reasonable of you. I've made my decision, and there's nothing you can do about it. All right, so there is good think nothing we can do. I'm starting to run out of good arguments here. Finally, there is a god. Are we done here? I really need to go to the assembly hall. You bet. Oh, now what? What? Instead of just moving the desk, my dad preferred messing with the planet's magnetic field? Well, he was the most egocentric and stubborn person I've ever met. All right. Why. Oh, yeah? Why do you think he left you here? Because he didn't care about anyone but himself. Not even his own son. Mm. Not even for his own son. Pretty ironic that you've become just as egotistic as he was back then. Egotistic? Me? Ha! Just recently, I risked my own life to save a girl from the clutches of the Organon. Completely without ulterior motives, I suppose. You better believe it. My ass. Uh, you'll be surprised, Lotek. I will save the girl. And then I will save the world. That will is the last thing I'm going to do. Really but then it'll be too late, because then I'll already be sitting in some cocktail lounge in Elysium and laughing about you fools and how you still have to live in this junkyard. You'll see. All right. I guess I about what you said that my father manipulated the planet's magnetic field. 
Well, get over it. Your father installed that device for a reason. He manipulated the magnetic field so he could sleep in harmony with the field lines. I can't imagine how that's supposed to work. Well, it does work. I sleep like a baby. <sighs> the only downside is that carrier pigeons are constantly crashing into my window. I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. <laughs> you don't even have your own residence, do you? You're mooching off your former girlfriend. Yeah, well, at least I'm not sleeping in the drawer of my desk. Watch your tongue, son. This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Oh, if yeah. only your father were here right. to put you in your place. You know darn well he worked here before me. Oh, yeah, you mean he slept here? You don't even know what real work is. If you'd put in a little more effort, you could have followed in your father's footsteps. My father's footsteps led away from this dump, and I'll get away from this rock too. And you think you'll reach your goal without a serious effort? <sighs> I'm beginning to understand why he didn't take you with him. All right. Ouch. That hurt. The girl belongs to me. Wrong. I've already made the decision. But I have to help her to at least. <laughs> That's a good job. Yeah. You should know better than anyone else. I'm kind of done no here, but I don't leave see how I can get Nothing out of this discussion. Will ever leave again. My dad made it. That's neither probable nor verifiable. I know that's what you'd like to believe, but I believe it's more likely that your father ended up crashing into some trash heap. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. I'm starting All right. to run out of good arguments here. Finally, there is a god. Are we done here? I really need to go to the. Yeah, assembly. let him go. Let him go. That's all. No, that's it. Well, then just beat it. I need to get to the assembly hall. All right, so let's take a look. Water assembly. Hmm, I kind of know this symbol. I guess there is water inside here. Pile of junk. Hey, that's Dad's water glass. I hardly ever saw him without it. He must have been worried about dehydration. Can we pick that? We are going to pick that up. Huh? What a pile of junk. Can we close the globe again? Yes, close it up. Nobody else can look at that. What's this? S O. L O N G Y O U S U C K E Damn, where was I? There's a message from the mayor of Buzo Westfog. Oh, right. oh, I see U R N E D O T. Huh? Either a cat was jumping up and down on the keyboard, or the operator must have gotten that all wrong. Mm hmm. I don't understand it, but... There's a message from the mayor Let's of... Let's try that again. O-O-I-C-U-R-N-E-D... You are an idiot. <laughs> Alright. The operator must have gotten that all wrong. No, he didn't get it wrong. Is there anything else to communicate? One of the few long distance radio devices in this backwater town. Why are we paying an operator if nobody's ever making a call? I know why I don't pay taxes. Hmm. I have the feeling we have to do something else here, but I have no idea. I have no idea what to do. It has something to do with the water. Huh, he's gone. Well, never mind. All right, that's interesting. No, 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 no. I don't, uh, there was something else. 
Open it up again. A gadget that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Yeah, that's good than my idea. Can we pick that up? A gadget yes. that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Yeah, that's good than my idea. All right, so we've got. Can we pick up the cushion? Because we have to do something to get this water, but I'm not sure how. Wait a second, the divine rod. What's this? All right. Wow, well, looks like Dad's secret will see the light of day after all. That's why he left me the trunk. And now we got the key. key. My dad knew I'd be clever enough to find it. I wonder what I get for it if I melt it down. Well, we're not going to melt it down because I think oh, this thing is beyond repair. Uh, open that up. Because there was a lock in here, and I guess this is the key. This might be unnecessarily complicated, but I'm certain Dad wanted to make sure that I'm the only one who could get this far, get to his big secret, his legacy. His liquor cabinet. All right. And now we do we need to close it again? I guess I want to close it again. Can we? No, I guess we can't. All right, so we've got the boost. Now we only need the battery. I guess that's the last thing we need. Uh, because uh, Wenzel mentioned something about the core outside. Oh, damn. In the beginning, there was uh, Hannik who said something about the key core. So I guess we first need to go to Hannik. And that way... We need to get some keys from Hannik. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh, Rufus. Rufus. Exactly. Uh, about my about key. About my key again. Again. What was your name again? Hmm. Let's see, um, it. I'm, I'm not Anything going else? to get the keys. Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh, Rufus. Exactly. Hmm. How am I going to get the key to the car? Because I know he has it. Let's go back home. Let's, let's check this all out. Mm hmm let's see what do we need to do what do we need to do as I said in the last episode they leave stuff kind of as it is so let's try this I don't like the direction this is taking at all ouch damn it that's hot hmm wet sponge so now let's go to the car because maybe we can use it on the car and somehow get the name of the car or the owner of the car because that way we can use to get to get the keys from Hannik 
And if we got the keys for Heineck, we can open the car. And again, the walking is kind of slowly. So moving around this village is taking the most of the time, I guess. Let's take a look. Let's clean up the truck so we can get the name. I should start with the windshield and then I should start with the windshield and then stop immediately. Ugh. Is this really necessary? Oh. Ooh, it's kind of car. Cool. The seats are covered in tasteless pink leatherette. A puppet is pirouetting. In the <laughs> oh my god. And on the driver's sign it says Sugar Puff. <laughs> Stupid name. Alright, but I guess that's a name. So if we know it is called a sugar puff. Let's see if that's going to get us the sponge. Or the keys, the sponge. We all already got the sponge, man. I'm totally getting lost. So let's get back to Hanek. And if we getting the keys. Hello again. Hey. Uh, um. I guess uh, we are Rufus. close exactly. to the end. So I've lost my keys. Found my key again. Again. Yeah, What's yeah. Your name again? I'm sugar puff. Sugar puff. Sugar puff? Hmm. Maybe I found your key, sugar puff, but I need to be sure it really belongs to you. What's your favorite color? It's pink. Pink, pink you say? That sounds about right. And uh, do you have a special hobby? Well, there was a bellus puppet in there. I read a lot. I guess there's nothing to do with the car. I uh, love the ballet. <laughs> Bullseye! Then this must be your key. This right. must be your lucky day, Sugar Puff. Yeah, I'm so happy I can just explode. Really? I might have a one time job for you down in the mine. No. Let's see, we got the keys. All right, let's get back to the truck. And let's open the car. Let's see what's in there. All right, so let's open up. Huh, the hood doesn't have a lock here. It can probably be opened from the inside. Huh. All right. It can probably be opened from the inside. Yes, I know that. You said that twice. All right, let's open up the hood and let's pack battery. Oh, I can't remove it, but how hmm. do I get access to the power that's harbored within them? I guess we've got a torch burner, but that doesn't sound like a logical idea. That one also. We got the dentist drill, so. Let's try that I want one. The battery acid, and I have a dentist drill. <laughs> That's almost too convenient. Ah! Ow! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah! Ow! And I guess the glass. Ha <laughs> I've siphoned the right, acid I, I without injuring it myself. I'll very amusing. That. No, you shouldn't have done that. But if you can keep this steady, well, we are going to save our shadow princess, but we are going to do it in the next episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed this Deponia, and I love to see you at the next episode of Deponia. And uh, also, if you're new to the channel, push the subscribe button, push the like button, and leave your comment down below what you think was the funniest moment in this episode.